Hello everyone, it's me Miss Bubbles and today I'm going to tell you all about the upcoming Nintendo Switch game releases for the month of June. You will learn about titles that suit different gaming styles and I'm sure there will be something for everyone here. If you enjoy weekly content, covering game reviews, updates on sales and so much more, make sure to smash that sub and like button with all the bubbly love that you got to support me and Teddy Bougie. He is not amused. DreamWorks Spirit Lucky's Big Adventure is the first game releasing on June 1st for $39.99. Play as Lucky, who is on a journey to find a treasure in Miradero. She is accompanied by her horse, Spirit, and her two best friends, Abigail and Prue. Here you can traverse an open landscape full of collectibles, quests, wildlife to explore, and dangers to avoid. Some of the things you can do is participate in horse races, customize outfits, and rescue animals in danger. Honestly, Honestly, I'm interested in checking the reviews when this comes out because the games look super adorable. I feel like it would be fun even for us grown-ups who just want to connect with our childhood again and want a cozy and relaxing game. Hey, I love games that appeal to younger audiences. Do you want to fight me? We have another game releasing on June 1st, and that is Stonefly. I'm not sure what the price point is on that one, but I can say it looks pretty cool and different from games we have seen lately. This is a top-down action-adventure game with a unique art style. You play as a girl named Annika Stonefly. She can use a mech, which is the means of transportation in the game, to collect materials and craft better upgrades. She is a really good inventor, so you are able to create different mech abilities to reach the final goal of recovering her dad's stolen mech. On the way, you will face different bugs, which have unique characteristics, so you need to practice how to successfully defeat them. I will be checking out the reviews to see how this one performs when it is released because it does look super fun and engaging. Join Jack and his friends on a quest to save the world. Here you can play as different characters while you battle your way through zombie hordes and slime monsters. To get better, you can upgrade weapons and armors. The Last Kids on Earth and the Staff of Doom is originally a collection of visual novels if I'm not mistaken, but now fans of the series can experience the battles themselves. If you are interested in this one, it is getting released on June 4th and will be $39.99. I'll be skipping it because it's just not vibing that well with me right now. DC Superhero Girls Teen Power is also releasing on the same day, June 4th, and will be going for the price of $59.99. Join Wonder Woman, Batgirl, and Supergirl as they fight their way through DC's super villains. Each hero will offer you different abilities to try, so combat will feel different when you play different characters. The fun thing in this game is that it has a lot of Persona 5 vibes, not only in the graphical style, but also in the gameplay style. You are responsible to be a hero but you're also still a teenager and need to balance your normal life. You can freely explore the city, hang out with your friends and have fun with photo mode. I'm really interested in this game and yes again I have an inner child in me. I'm sure I'm not the only one so I know Little Miss Bubbles would have loved to get this game on the first day of its release. <laughs> Nintendo surprised us with the announcement of Game Builder Garage and it took the internet by storm. With Game Builder Garage, you can learn new programming skills to build your own video game. You can say this is Nintendo's version of the Game Dreams that was released for PlayStation last year. The game allows players to test out different programming versions, but I think the one that will make people go the most crazy is free programming. Nintendo promises gamers that they will let their curiosity and their imagination run wild. I am really excited to see what you guys are going to be creating in this game. You can grab Game Builder Garage on June 11th for $29.99.
Ender Lilies is currently in early access on Steam, but is getting fully released on the Nintendo Switch on June 22nd. The reviews have been very positive and people have compared it to games like Hollow Knight. This is a dark fantasy 2D action RPG about exploring the mysteries of a kingdom that was destroyed by the reign of death. You can lead a cast of knights, enjoy beautiful landscapes, determine how the story will end, and find beauty in despair. Combat is all about learning the fight style of your enemy as you attack, evade, dash, and aim for victory. You also have up to 26 skills to learn. This game looks absolutely gorgeous. And I know many people, just from my Discord alone, who have been waiting for its release on the Switch. Keep your eyes open if you are interested as well. As for the price, I'm not sure what it's going to be yet. After 20 years, Legend of Mana Remastered Edition is coming to the Nintendo Switch on June 24th for the price of $29.99. The remaster brings better visuals as well as the ability to choose between the original or the newer song arrangements. Legend of Mana sets your character on a journey to find a mystical mana tree. However, the world is empty. To combat that, you use artifacts which bring different towns and cultures back to life. You have the absolute freedom to choose where and when to place these artifacts as well as how you want to progress your story. The main character can equip a range of armor, weapons, and accessories to engage in real-time battles. I have been playing Trials of Mana, which has been really fun, but I think I will skip this one. It's just not really resonating with me. But if you did enjoy what you saw on the screen, check it out. I have to admit the gameplay looks very fun. Let's take a small break and give a bubbly shout out to the gaming shop. <laughs> He said, great video as always, Bubbles, I love the 3DS, it had so many great life sim games. I totally agree, the 3DS, be it for life sim games or other genres, is an amazing handheld and is always going to be close to my heart. Also, I want to say thank you for your support, you have been an amazing friend on my new YouTube journey. The Gaming Shelf does have his own YouTube channel, make sure to check him out, he puts out amazing content and he's a really cool guy, so check him out. If you want to be featured in my next video, make sure to leave a comment down below and murder that like button with all the bubbly love that you got. As I was collecting information for this video, we got brand new information about the upcoming Mario Golf Super Rush. People have been talking about it non-stop since then. The game will be offering both online and local multiplayer to allow four golfers to play together. You can play with your friends on different modes such as standard golf or even speed golf. You can even try the RPG, golf adventure, and story mode. In addition, me characters can train in a prestigious golf club to rank up and become a pro. The game has so much to offer and people are eyeing this one and waiting for its release. So let's see how this one goes. You can play this title on June 25th and can buy it for $59.99. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 1 and 2 arrive on Nintendo Switch on June 25th. This is a fully remastered game that has been rebuilt from the ground up. You skate as the legendary Tony Hawk and enjoy amazing music as you perform various stunts. The game lets you enjoy all original modes such as the local two-player one. And don't forget that you can also enjoy creating a park as well as creating a skater. Players get to compete against people from all around the world in multiplayer mode. I remember playing this game as a kid and used to not know what the heck I was doing. Regardless, I love remasters because they bring our childhood back and they also allow newcomers to enjoy them. But do you like remasters as well? What game do you wish that can be remastered or maybe ported to the Nintendo Switch? For me, I would love for Fantasy Life to be ported to the Nintendo Switch and if EA can ever remaster Sims 2, count me in. The first new Disgaea game is here after six years. You play as Zed, a proud zombie who possesses special powers. He is threatened by the god of destruction and must rise to the challenge with the help of his allies. Disgaea 6 Defiance of Destiny builds upon its predecessor's gameplay mechanics, but the biggest change so far is the full 3D models for all characters. The game follows a turn-based combat style and this entry brings up the level cap to 99, 999, 
$9.99. You can dispatch groups, master weapons, buy new gear, and fight in epic battles. There is a heavy reliance on stats, so do keep that in mind. The new entry promises a grim yet touching story and new combat mechanics never seen before in the series. This guy 6 releases on the Nintendo Switch on June 29th, and I'm not sure yet what the price is gonna be on this one. A cult classic has already returned to major consoles, but now it's finally coming to the Nintendo Switch on June 29th. Destroy All Humans allows you to play as an evil alien who wants to terrorize the people of the Earth in the 1950s, so you can harvest the DNA of humans to bring down the US government. The game is very funny with its story as well as its gameplay and has gathered very positive reviews so far. You can use your jetpack to explore areas back in the 1950s pose as a humans and destroy major cities. I would like to test this one out but I'm probably going to wait for a sale plus I have no idea what the price is going to be on the Nintendo Switch so far. A Tale of Synapse The Chaos Theories is a 2D platforming game with a unique aesthetic. It manages to combine abstract art and science in four magical worlds. The story follows Sai and Nero as they cooperate to solve 48 levels of varying puzzles and solve equations using the player's common sense. This is a French indie game that promises 10 hours of gameplay and is releasing on June 30th. I will definitely skip this one because I am horrible at math and logic. Yay! The creators behind the award-winning game Journey are bringing us a new title called Sky Children of Light. Sky is an animated kingdom that you can explore. You get seven dreamlike realms with mysteries to uncover, character customization, and ongoing seasonal events and expansions of realms. From what I can understand, you can also encounter and socialize with other players, and you can give them candles of light as a token of appreciation. I believe this game is already available on mobile and is also coming sometime in June to the Nintendo Switch. I might get it if I see a bit more gameplay that interests me, plus I don't know what the price point will be yet, so I will be on the lookout for it. Beasts of Maravilla or Maravilla Island is a 3D adventure game where you take the role of a young wildlife photographer who traverses the island's magical ecosystem to discover different creatures and learn their behavior to photograph their amazingness. Now you might be asking, what is the purpose of taking these photos anyways? Well, humanity's belief in magic is slowly disappearing, so to save the island, Marina, the main character you play as, needs to capture amazing moments with over 50 creatures to make people believe in magic again. This is probably screaming at you some Pokemon Snap vibes, but hey, I do not like Pokemon Snap, but I am interested in this one. Anyway, if you have a PC, you can download the demo on Steam and try it out right now. The game is releasing sometime in June. Damn, some of you are probably gonna kill me because of my last statement. Sorry. Let's talk in the comment section. Tell me which games you are going to buy. You could have been doing anything, but you chose to spend your time with me. That is really awesome. All I want to say is stay bubbly, stay positive, and I will see you in the next one. Bye.